Hey, buddy, you know that uh, police station mock looks really good next to that hospital mock. It's going to look good when we get it all finished. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. McBrick, and um, this is our police station mock. For those of you who have followed our channel over the uh, the time that we've been around, you know that um, Adrian had made a police station several years ago, and that's what we used, the traditional Lego police station. Um, but we started to think, you know what, we could do our own and, and make it fit into the city a little bit more, make it a little more polished and things like that. So that's what we did. Um, Adrian said, hey, um, let's go ahead and, and, and make a police station mock. And so we uh, had all the parts, the uh, blue and the white and all that kind of stuff. And so we did it. And this is what we came up with, folks. Um, this is our original police station mock that uses, obviously, parts from several of the LEGO City police station sets. It also uses parts that we just kind of had lying around. And we tried to make it um, fit into our hospital area over here. Um, as you saw um, right before uh, the intro there, um, there was a, uh, it sits next to the hospital. I think it looks good. The blue contrasts with the red, and of course the red, white, and blue, it all goes together um, and that sort of thing. So anyway, this is what we have. Um, so we'll take a, a closer look, and as we've always done, we have built the sidewalk in the same uh, style as the modulars. So this is a modular, um, and it will fit into our city. And we have uh, put the 2 by 2 um, uh, blue-grayish tiles on here to hook into the next base plate that comes up. Our driveways are always in the blue-grayish, and you see there's a little light there to tell you whether or not you could go into the garage bay. Um, we made the garage bay uh, with the traditional Lego garage door. We made it fit the uh, Lego City cars, so there is a bay um, that uh, you can fit the car into, and it just goes right back there. And there is a uh, exit door going into um, both the outside and into the police station. So if the police need to take the uh, bad folks into the station, they can just actually pull the car in here close the door, and they don't even have to go outside. They can go straight to the uh, the station and admit that person um, or process that person, I guess, is the formal way of saying it in police jargon. Um, we try to do, uh, you know, it's, it's a basic police station. Right here, we left these blank. If you notice on several of our mocks, we have big blank white spaces. That's for the signs that we're going to develop. Um, we have the, the, the police sign that came with uh, one of the Lego police sets, but right here we'll probably put, put um, FPD, Figsdale Police Department, and that'll be in big block letters right there. So that's why that is blank. And then, you know, we've, we're kind of nice to our prisoners here in Figsdale, and so they're able to look out onto the city and see what's going on. We added um, these uh, uh, nice Technic um, uh, bricks right here so that that uh, it, it adds just a little bit of flare up at the top. Um, and of course we have the spotlights um, that are on the top of the police station and the spotlight that's articulated where we can move down here. Um, there's a nice window going into the main lobby, the door, um, and then we have a little bit of greenery. Around the side, um, it's pretty normal. Uh, again, we like to try to, whenever possible, um, use uh, bricks so that it actually looks nice on the side in case we want to. We have a feature here that uh, we thought was interesting. Um, the back actually it looks kind of looks kind of nice if 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 you don't mind us saying so. We 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 worked on it and tried to figure out a way to do it. Um, but uh, we thought that there is the outside door um, to the uh, to the as you can see the police car is in there so you can get outside. Um, we didn't have enough room inside to build the staircase to go up to the uh, jail level so uh, we actually just put a door in here um, and you can come out and actually the door's on the wrong way. I got to flip it over and put it on the right hinge so it comes out. You can come out take your prisoners upstairs, hope they don't escape, um, and then take them up to the door up here, and then they can get up um, into the processing level. On top, we have the control tower, and the control tower is um, staffed by a person who is up there um, with the radar um, to uh, provide all of the, uh, the, the county of Figsdale County, um, provide him with safety, and he looks out over the city as this is positioned in the city, and he'll be able to, uh, um, to guide in any helicopters and prisoners that come in um, from the various prisons and jails around Figsdale County and around the universe. Um, so anyway, so that is the outside. Um, let's take a look at the inside of our police station mock. 
Okay, so our police mod comes apart just like all the modulars in the modular set. And if you look, when we first walk into the lobby, there is the processing station and processing area. So there'll be an officer there who will um, work on the computer and process all of the information. Um, if you have a complaint, if you are trying to, if you have been served a warrant, if you have um, whatever issue you have, um, or if you uh, basically just want to bring them coffee and donuts, that would work as well. Um, anyway, we've tried to make it uh, happy um, with the uh, color scheme on the carpet, um, but we tried to make sure we, we stuck with more of a police type of theme. There's the waiting room where you can wait, have some coffee, uh, a, a nice water cooler there where you can get your uh, your uh, um, uh, cold drinks and things of that nature. It's pretty Spartan, um, not much to it. Uh, there's the entranceway to the garage bay, and of course, um, the another entrance um, for the police officers. And there is uh, where you take after um, you take the the prisoner, or, or if you're taking a uh, prisoner from the garage to the uh, um, to the cell, you have to go through that door. Um, and there is uh, the bay for the car. So that's, again, very simple, um, very practical, but again, uh, that's kind of what we came up with. Um, everything just uh, comes off and uh, um, works in, in, in the modular fashion uh, like you're used to. So, um, so that's the first level. Uh, let's go take a look at this uh, second level. Okay, so here is the second level. And if we look here on, when you walk up the door, you walk up the door, you'll come in here, and here again is a spot where the inmates can talk to loved ones. So there is the glass there and you could have the inmates sit on this side and have their loved ones sit on that side and that way they can talk and converse and things of that nature. Um, there are the cells. Uh, now we had to make some, uh, um, some decisions and so it's, it's a little, um, you know, not how we would prefer with making this half um, and then going over here, um, but we had to make some decisions based on the parts we had and we couldn't really fill out the stairwell in here so we had to make that outside staircase um and uh, we had to kind of make this half um so I, you know i'm not a big fan of that adrian's not a big fan of doing that um it looks kind of shoddy but you have to do what you have the parts for and we didn't want to spend any extra money um and on the outside you know when you look at it this way it looks it looks pretty cool i think um so it's just when you you know when you do it this way um so anyway so you go into the jail cell and uh, here it is a group jail cell um, and uh, it's, it's Spartan, just like the rest of the place. Uh, we have uh, room for two prisoners um, in this particular cell and you can see they have their, uh, their, their toilet stool there and um, that's about it. Uh, there's not much else. Um, you can see they've been scrambling on the wall and uh, you know in their spare time just trying to uh, um, trying to uh, count the days, just count the days until they get out. Wait a minute, what's this about on the left side? Well, I'm not really sure. That does not look good. That does not look good. I better, I better tell the uh, police chief about that. Anyway, um, so that is uh, what we have right there. Um, and that's our police mock to go in our city of Figsdale. Um, again, it's nothing special, but you know what? It does the job and uh, Adrian and I both think that it's a lot better than what we had. And we're excited about the citizens of Figsdale being kept safe from all those henchmen running around. This is Dr. McBrick. Don't forget to uh, like this video if you did, share it and subscribe if you have it. Thanks for everything. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.